Hey guys, Mighty Gazelle here, back with more reading the My Hero Academia manga. It's chapter 397. Uh, the unofficial translations dropped this morning. And this chapter is only seven pages long. I just want to get that out of the way now. Um, I That much I knew beforehand, uh, because this, is, this was like a weird... It was coming off of a week uh, break, and I had heard this like kind of rumbling, like it was going to be a short chapter, and uh, I had it confirmed to me. I don't know what happens in this chapter, I, other than I think it's still All Might versus All for One. Other than that, I don't know. Um, a lot of speculation. People um, are worried about Horikoshi's health, which is understandable because he's had health-related things in the past. People are worried that he's, like, you know, overworking himself. I I think this is, like, I, that could definitely be it, but I think this is more so to do with, um, we have Chapter 400 coming up, and, like... <clears throat> I think he wants to have that be a big thing. And since we're in this fight, I can totally see him wanting to do something big for that chapter. That's one aspect. And I heard that there's also a holiday coming up. So they needed to um, have him submit two chapters, which makes more sense as to why one would be short. Um, so I think in this case, he's fine. I mean, I guess it could always be, maybe it's just the hopeful Side of me thinking that I think I think personally he's fine and it's just like a pacing thing, like it's on purpose. But we'll see. You know, we'll see. Hopefully, we hear that he's okay. Um, but yeah, this is gonna be a short video, only seven pages. So uh, predictions. I think it's just gonna be a little bit more of a fight. Uh, I don't know if anything. I don't think anything drastic's gonna happen in just seven chapters. But you know, uh, I'm excited nonetheless. I love my hero. This is a fight that I've been very much. Eager to see. I All Might is my boy. He's he this is gonna sound messed up, but like even though Deku's the main character, All Might's still like he represents the soul of the franchise to me, the series. Everything about everything about him. So yeah, let's begin. First page, All Might in his suit. This feels wrong, he shouts. I'm over fifty five years old, you know. Yeah, he is he is older. I shouldn't be beating up a young lad. <laughs> Just talking that shit. And we cut to hit where, exactly where we left off last, where he, oh my god, Sugar Rush? The shoe is huge. That is a much larger shoe than I thought he got. It's like almost as, it's like as big as his whole body. That's almost like comically huge, this, this boot that he got on for the Sugar Rush move. But it, if you get hit with that, man, it's going to hit like a, like literally like a truck. Um, so he's in the middle of the air. He's pulling him back at him. Like that could do the black whips with Shigaraki where he would like pull him toward him, punch him. And then as he flies away, pull him back with like whip. He's doing the um, cellophane move on him. I shouldn't be beating up a young lad. <laughs> people forget All Might's actually like older than because people I feel, like, I feel like most people think he's in his 40s like Endeavor. And I think Endeavor is like mid to late 40s. All Might's a little bit older than Endeavor. Um. Because I think when Endeavor was in high school and aspiring to be the number one hero, that's when he, like, they would always look at the news and see All Might, like, back in his prime, you know, doing shit. Um, chapter 397, Taking Out the Trash. <laughs> that's a good title. I wonder who that's alluding to. Is that All Might Taking Out the Trash of All for One? Yeah, it has to be. That, that'd be That's a comedic title. I also, I also think about Spongebob. I, I love old OG Spongebob. Taking out the trash, taking out the trash at night, you know. Sorry, that's just showing my age on that one. Um, let's see. You've fallen victim to the overwhelming hatred you cultivated so you could steal one for all. Taking advantage of that is what gives me a chance to win this fight. It, it it's funny. I, I was thinking about this. I don't know if I mentioned this in the last video. It's very much a role reversal. How, like in Camino Ward, you had All Might getting taunted by All for One and having, and even Toshinori, not Toshinori, um, Gran Torino, was like, this is the same thing happened in the first fight. Apparently, the first fight that we still haven't seen. I, I wish one day we got it, but I don't think at this point we are, especially like. Maybe you'll get a snap, like a, a little snippet of it in this, but I don't know. Um, in the first fight, apparently that's how they got he all for one got an opening 
to hit All Might and his like gut was him being taunted because Gran Torino said that's what happened last time. He let him get distracted and then that happened to Camino Ward again. Although All Might came out on top there too. Uh, but now it's like now that <clears throat> we're getting young all for one and he's getting these primal like urges in him like that. And he's getting a, a kind of it's it's sort of the influence that Shigaraki's had on him. All Might's taking advantage of that. So he literally learned from his mistakes. That's so great. Hmm. This is our fate, he thinks. Demon Lord? Funniest joke I've ever heard, he shouts. The big grin on his face. Even a quirkless man can take you head on. <laughs> By the way, I saw people giving this fight shit. Like, oh, all for one. Losing to a guy in a, in a mech suit. Like, bro, first of all, the fight just started. Of course it's going to start with all for one taking, the, taking his punches first to give us that sense of hope. And I'm sure it's going to get shattered here eventually, that sense of hope. But, like, people are, like, way over there, way over themselves. Like, oh, all for one is not the big bad guy after all. He's getting his ass kicked by a quirkless old dude. It's like, bro, let the story play out. You losers. Anyway. Uh, as we see all for one getting flailed around here. Um, I'll keep you distracted to prevent you from leaving, he thinks. And then all for one going for a his, his gross ass little swirly whole hand thing. Going for an attack. Uh, Spring-like limbs, physical boost, air cannon, rivet, stab, dark ball, and light dust. Dude, light dust sounds cool. What, what kind of properties would that... Uh, like, I don't know. Is it just like raw power? Like, <clears throat> huge explosion. Whoa, okay. So that's actually pretty badass. So we see a big blast, a bunch of electricity, like the black electricity. And the, we see the black balls that he was saying. Like, they're flying out like projectiles just a massive explosion holy shit i'm assuming that most of these buildings are evacuated like this is an abandoned part of the city i assume all might picked a spot with like the least amount of people um granted there are people who are like not going to the shelters and stuff but i'm, I'm assuming that the number of casualties from an explosion like this has to be at least a minimum i'm sure there's a few stragglers out there who are getting caught in this but it can't be that bad um all Might goes flying. Um, I think it hit him directly. Yeah, and he impacts a building in the distance. Uh, he survived, though. He's, he says he's randomly combining quirks as he's getting up. Utility cape, auto guard, dark shadow. Oh, that's so cool. We got another move after a student. Yay. <laughs> um, that does kind of look like dark shadow. You know how dark shadow can like coat Tokoyami for protection and stuff? That's very much like what his cape just did. Oh, that's a good... That's a good. So he had two defensive themed uh, student moves. We had a red. I'm assuming he's going to say Red Riot um, with the the floating stuff that formed the shield in front of him. And now we have the cape that like hardened as a shield around him. But it looks like the, the cape pretty much got destroyed on that. Um, that means my, my taunts are working, he thinks. Keep it up, Toshinori. Fan the flames of his rage. <laughs> Dude, he looks so cool. Oh, all night. I don't want you to die. My gut tells me he's going to die in this fight, but like, like my instinct, my gut instinct is that he's going to die. And I don't want that to happen, but I just, that's the feeling I get as to where this is going. But the only reason I get hesitation is because of all the talk of like twisting fate and like changing the prediction. It could, it could go either way. Like honestly, not ice prediction could come true and he could die. But I could also see them being able to change it. I don't know. I'm very coin flippy on that one. I don't, I don't, in my mind, like, my gut tells me he's going to die. But uh, that, all that stuff makes you think it's definitely possible he'll live. I really don't know. Uh, it's the biggest question in this entire series to me. Like, there's no other topic that's like, will this happen? Won't this happen? Other than maybe, will Shigaraki die or di not die? Although I think... I think Shigaraki has to die by the end of this. But he's a, even if they save him, like he's killed so many people, like they would not be kind to him. Anyway, um, the cape has been damaged. Uh, the computer, I think, says uh, collarbone and left wrist pulverized. Ah, uh, oh no pulverized oh god that sounds awful 
Okay. Activate maximum motion assist. Oh my god! So the 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 suit's like forming a cast, like a like literally a motion assist around. Oh no! Ah, oh, his collarbone and left wrist are pulverized, bro. In comes all for one flying in, taking me head on. What are you thinking? We get a shot of him standing or not standing, floating menacingly over all for all might. You're a worthless piece of trash. <laughs> Yes, give me the smack talk. Yes. <laughs> I love it. I love that these two just have this history of just like, no, fuck you, no, fuck you. <laughs> like, <laughs> uh, and then, so he's floating, and he's got all these tendrils and spikes and things floating out of him. Dude, he, oh, he looks the expression on him. He looks so pissed. And you see All Might down below. with his. I love how his little trademark things are on his on helmet. It's so cool. All for one continues with this big kind of, I don't know what you describe this like anguish kind of expression. He's got the bloodshot eyes and he's just got a big open mouth. He's like, but for some reason, putting on that garbage bag has given you some confidence. Is that it? <laughs> I love it. I love this shit. It's so petty. Like this is their shit talking, calling each other trash, and be like, ah, just it's just it amuses me to no end. I love it. As soon as I destroy it, you're dead. Unlike a person and their quirk, tools cannot surpass their limits. Yeah, I mean, like, I think All Might talked about that once. Um, when Deku and him were in the park, and he was like, hey, yeah, I used to use support gear back in the day. And it, like, it always broke down to me because of my fighting style. All Might thinks, uh, but be careful not to rely on them too much, especially if losing the item makes you feel helpless. Yeah, I, they're alluding to it. That's the scene. Wow. Okay. I've seen plenty of heroes fall into that trap. Yeah, that's them in the park. And I think isn't that where May like pops up and then like all oh my catches the the drone like a badass. She's like my babies. <laughs> yeah, that was so long ago. When was that? That was I think that was, was that just before the cultural festival. It was a while ago, like a long time ago. All Might points a finger out with with his broken. Uh, I think that's the arm that's like the broken wrist. It's his left one, right? Yeah. So his left one. That's the one he points up with. Badass. We think alike, my friend. Not friends. He's just mocking him. Um, oh, Nana, Nana, and Young All Might, Young Toshi. What the frick? We're getting a flashback. Oh, dude, this giving me. A, oh, if we're getting flashbacks. We might get snippets of the original fight. Ah! The geek in me wants that so bad. Okay, so there's a bunch of, like, I assume these are villains passed down on the ground, and Nana's floating above them. Young man, were you planning on taking them down with that pipe? Oh! I didn't even think about that. We might get to see, like, more of Nana and All Might and, like, how the moment where she gave him the power and stuff. Oh! There's so much they could show us during this fight. Oh, it's great. Part of me, okay... I'm sorry I'm talking a lot, but this is a short chapter, so I'm just taking liberty and like talking a lot to pad out time. Um, like, I'm very torn. Like, I, with every fiber of my being, I want to see more of all my origins slash like early days of fighting. But people have like I, a close friend said to me like, "But that's sort of like the charm of it. There's like a mystique, like a like a mystery." Of, like there's a joy to not being able to see that because it's so it's almost like legend status where they always allude to it but they never show much of it um and that's part of the charm and i kind of agree with that despite the fact that i desperately want to see i want them just to have a chapter so bad where it's just like this was prime all might and this was what he was capable of because everyone in the whole series is always like they're always comparing things to what All Might was in his prime. And the the pinnacle, the strongest we ever see All Might, I guess technically in the first movie, when he's like a college student. I don't know if you'd consider that prime All Might, though. I feel like his prime status would be after that, when he's like a full-fledged adult. And, and pre-injury, obviously. But, uh, yeah, I don't know. Um, but right here, all, this is Quirkless All Might about to fight these guys with the, with the pipe. Uh, were you t planning on taking them down with that pipe? Oh my god. Look at Nana. Oh, 
oh, she's so gorgeous. She has the, the little like uh, angel's kiss, whatever you want to call it, birthmark. Oh, she's gorgeous. Nana, Nana's easily like top three most beautiful like person in the entire series. Uh, right there with Mirko and um, who else did I put up there? There's a few options. Lady Nagant, obviously. Um, the end. Cutting back to the present. All Might jumps forward, puts a fist right on his face. Punch. Oh, that's sick. And All Might, all for one, just tanks it. He's got the big ass dopey grin on his face. <laughs> I didn't fall for your pathetic plan. You hear me? My victory is assured. I have plenty of time to take out the trash. <laughs> so it was him. I had it. I had the opposite. I thought All Might would be the one to say taking out the trash, but no, it's it's All, all for One. <laughs> oh, and then you see a big blast come off of All for One, knocking back uh, All Might. But there's replacement parts on the way, flying to All Might from the car, probably. So he's gonna get a little bit of a reinforcement here. Roaring, uh, All Might shouts, "Stop making excuses!" Honestly, it's embarrassing. And that's the end of the chapter. Yeah, this was a short chapter. Good chapter though, good chapter. Um, man, it was it was worth it alone just to see a little bit of Nana and to see some shit talking. Like everyone, everyone in this series, like everyone who watches and reads this series, has something they like to see, right? For some, for certain people, they want to see Bakugo. For certain people, they want to see, you know, I'm not I'm I'm not a shipper myself, but they like to see the romantic stuff. I I like to see that too, but like I don't theorize or whatever i just kind of go by what is shown um me like i don't get me wrong i love the fights they're great but i love these like character interactions these two just have so much history together all he killed all might's master he's been an all might ruined his path to like world domination there's so much history here, and this them here. This is definitely both of their last fights in the entire series. Like, there's no question in my mind about that. So we're seeing like the end of a saga, right here. Like, as my, as excited as I am to see Shigaraki versus Deku, that's gonna be great. And there's a lot, a lot of stuff to digest there, and things that could happen. Like I said, all my to me is the soul of this series. And you could say that no, it's Deku. It's, it's like the new generation of heroes, but like who inspired Deku? Like who, who is the guy who laid the groundwork for what all these young heroes are aspiring to be? And don't get me wrong. Deku's inspired all Might in reverse. Like he's added things to his life. Uh, conversely, I'm not saying that, but like all Might to me is the symbol. He'll always be the symbol of this series. And, this is his big bad rival, all for one, who like as 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 powerful as Shigaraki is now, all for one is also the one responsible for every catastrophe that's happened in the series. He's been the mastermind behind it all. And now obviously Shigaraki's the bigger threat at this point, but that's because All for One set that up. Like he he planned to take over that body. He's the new entity. Um, but these are like the series began initially because of All for One and eventually All Might due to, due to lineage. And throughout this whole time of Deku's growth and Shigaraki's growth, they've been there in the background doing their thing. And he, this is the end. And I think that's just so, like, let's just enjoy it. Like, this is, ah, uh, I don't know. That's a weird rant for me to go on. I just think that, like, anyone who's not satisfied with this, I don't understand. This is so beautiful. And any outcome, and the best part is any outcome I'm happy with. Like, if All Might dies, he dies. And I'll have mad respect for Horikoshi for going through with it. Because I know it's hard for him to kill his own creations. They're like family to him. And if he lives, also, I think that'd be great. I think it'd be like, like I'd love to see Deku grow up and to become a great hero and, you know... But at the same time, it even says right here, I'm over 55 years old. Like, he's lived a long life. Obviously, he can live longer. And it, it just makes me think that he will die. But I can hack and I can hold out hope. There's only so many more chapters to hold on to that hope before we get an answer, right? So. 
All right. Well, I hope you guys enjoyed. Uh, again, shorter chapter. It's only 20. I, it, I could have read this whole thing in 10 minutes, less than 10 minutes, just saying things to you guys, but I kind of patted it out a little bit with my thoughts, but hope you guys don't mind. I uh, hope you guys enjoyed and stay tuned for the next one. I don't think there's a break next week. Let me see on the bottom. Uh, yeah, I don't, I don't think I've heard about a break next week. I could be wrong. But uh, yeah, hope you guys enjoyed. Until next time, it's been Monday Gazelle. I think you all have a mighty day. See you guys.